all throughout all the holy books. It already has been prophesied of the Lord ministering through a tabernacle of clay. This is seen even in the Book of Mormon. And I'm going to read that real quick for you because a lot of y'all are sleeping on God's words. And it reads, For behold, the time cometh, and is not far distant, that with power the Lord omnipotent, who reigneth, who was, and is from all eternity to all eternity, shall come down from heaven among the children of men, and shall dwell in a tabernacle of clay, and shall go forth amongst men, working mighty miracles. And this is the truth, okay? The Lord is descending down, okay, and has. Um, this is the last day. No, I'm not going crazy. I'm just a reader. I'm just a studier. I'm just am who I am. When you go into the Bibles, the Bibles all agree. The Bible talks about the ancients of days and him setting up his kingdom and his dominion shall have no end. In the Quran, it talks about the same thing. It talks about Adam being formed from the clay. And then it tells us in the Hadiths that God is going to raise up a man to completely clean up this earth. Now, nobody has ever done that. The prophet Isa hasn't done that. Moses hasn't done that. The prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all, have not done that. This is Al Maddie's job. Now, Instead of trying your best to process everything and to be detailed about everything, simply put, the Lord has more messengers and time is short. Time is short. Um, and I encourage you to start taking God's word serious. Right now, we are in overtime. We are in a delay. Because right now, God is getting me ready. He's getting me ready to fulfill this task. He's going to use me to clean up all this earth. According to the Bible, 10 men is going to take one man by the sleeve. Okay. And say, guide us and say, lead us. This is all in the Bible. Okay. The Christians have messed up. By taking God's creation and making him a God. At this, the very heavens are shaking. The mountains have fell and the earth has split in two. And this is all a metaphor. It's a metaphor. The earth is going into the ear, which is going into the clay, which is a, another picture of me. The mountains is going into Lamonte. Okay. I came down here from heaven to judge. And I know you have no faith. I know you don't. But somebody does. My goal is to get this video to someone who does have faith. Because right now it's a shortage on faith. The prophet Isa, when he came, he did not minister his own words. Everything he was speaking, it was a voice speaking through him. And that's why he constantly tell you, I can't of myself do nothing. These are not my words. It was Al Mahdi speaking through him this whole time. Same thing with the prophet Muhammad. Um, the prophet Muhammad wasn't speaking his own words. There was a chief prophet in heaven at that time. And he was speaking through the prophet Muhammad. But right now, the judgment has come. Okay. And the Lord is using his prophet that he was using this whole time to speak through all the other prophets. And that is Al Mahdi. God is going to use me to completely purge this earth of evil. And I give him all the praise. You know, right now um, it is a celebration, but there's work to do because Allah has woke me up. And the kingdom is shifting. You see, my name, Lamonte, 
it also means law man. God is going to allow me to revise the Bible, even the Quran. Remember, in the Quran, Allah told the prophet Muhammad he couldn't change the words. He told him he couldn't. Okay, but al Mahdi will, and he is. Everything is pointing towards the Mahdi, even Hinduism. Okay, what can you spell in Hindu? Hindu is basically saying he in Indiana. He in, Indi he in Indiana. I was Indiana. The, the Mahdi was in Indiana. Okay, until Allah moved me to the West, and he's going to cause the sun, S-U-N, okay, to rise from the West. All roads, okay, lead to al Mahdi. Okay, Christianity, Islam, and religion. Okay, the Mahdi's job is to do what? Restore true religion. That's my job. That's my mantle. Okay, and all of the music um, has prophecy in it. The rich Obi Kwan talking about when I walk through. Um, that's a picture of me. His whole life was a picture of me. Okay. Um, a lot of y'all have no need to worry. That brother is in heaven. That brother is in my house in heaven. Allah has allowed him to be in my house. Okay. My mansion where I was at before I came down here. Now I know it sounds crazy because <laughs> y'all don't have no faith. Okay. But yeah, look at his life. His life is a picture of me. Rich Omi Quan, Daquantis, I'm Daquan. Uh, Lamar, I'm Lamonte. He was uh, known as the humble rapper. Um, that's me. You go to his symbol. It's Quan, and then it's, it looks like a Quran. It's a green symbol that says Quan and looks like a Quran book, man. So, you know, this is a, a, a good time for my family, my daughters, um, because the kingdom has come to me. And I'll give you a heads up. The Mahdi will raise up all the tribes of Israel from his loins. God is allowing the Mahdi because the Mahdi is the die. He's going to die the nations. All of his children are going to be Israelites. Because remember, God told Moses, let me wipe out these Israelites. Let me wipe them all out and I'll make a great nation with you. And that's what God is doing with me. So that's why I'm Daquant. I'm the die, okay? I have that special die to raise up Israelites, okay? And it is amazing time, man. It's like a party in the spiritual realm. Um, alcohol um, was forbidden till the Q got here, get it, liquor. Um, I'm bringing the dancing, okay? Um, I'm bringing the music, all of those things that was in Israel, okay? It's coming back because the Mahdi is here to revise. Now, I encourage you to watch the book of Eli. Watch what he does at the end of the movie. He says, rewrite everything as I say. So I encourage you to share this. We're trying to get this, this video to Farrakhan. We try to get it out there. A lot of people are hating. A lot of people that's, that are secretaries for some reason, whenever they hear my voice, they automatically want to put me on voicemail. They automatically want to try to shut me out. And I'm right now that stone that the builders are rejecting. People are rejecting me and rejecting me and rejecting me. And, you know, it's going to turn around and bite them. It is because Allah is on my side and he's been guiding me this whole time. All right. So, um, Got the YouTube promotion coming up on all four of my channels. I even have the Al Matty channel. All you got to do is type in Daquant. And that channel that I just started is doing better than all my channels. Okay. So we getting this word out. We got to constantly keep getting this word out. That way I can be tested and you can see like, okay, this dude really is or this dude ain't whatever you, whatever you think. OK, let's just get the word out. Don't put the wrath on yourself by talking crazy. OK, just keep your mouth closed on that. Don't talk about things you don't have no knowledge of. Just spread the word, spread the word. And when you do that, that is going to bring more opportunity for somebody to step up to the plate and say, hey, we need to interview this dude. 
That'll be your best bet. OK, because the Al Mahdi, if you are Muslim, OK, he is your ruler. If you are Arab, he is your ruler. OK, Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth that are real Muslims. One day I will meet a, a real Muslim. OK, right now I haven't met no real Muslims. I'm going to be honest. OK, because right now this is the test. This is the test for the real Muslims. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.